and I'm back again. Yes, I am back again. All right, so I've got my wine. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Look, isn't that a pretty color? Kind of hard to see with the thing, but all right. And I have my wine glass. So here we go. And we'll pour it up. This has been steeping for almost an hour and a half. It was, well, maybe maybe an hour and ten minutes. I can't remember exactly when uh, when it was that I put it on. All right. Well, I didn't start the video until like quarter after ten, so it was maybe by twenty after ten. So yeah, it's like so it's like a hour and ten minutes, I guess. With with wine, with wine, I usually do like to let it sit for at least an hour before I try it. Um, for those uh, who are just tuning in, there's the tea, and the wine. Isn't it a pretty color? I guess it looks a little better in glass. You can see the tea's not in the way. All right, so I haven't tried this one yet. This, for anybody who didn't check it out before, I put in the Lemonicious Fruit Tea, which I love to do cold. Um, it's kind of like lemonade. It's not like lemon. It's not as like tart as lemonade, but um, it's got it's got that feel to it. But I think it's just because of the lovely um, lemon flavor. There's lots of lemon in it. There's lemon lemongrass, lemon peels, orange peels. All kinds of stuff. Oh, it smells good. Oh man, it smells good. Um, and so I used Yellowtail Moscato. Uh, this is my go-to wine for my tea. Um, I like Yellowtail. Uh, anyway, it's um, my favorite brand of wine. I don't know. It's only it's like I think it's less than like fifteen bucks a bottle, so it's not too bad. And um, yeah, so and I had experimented with a different a couple of the types of the yellowtail that I um, that I tried. I believe it or not, I went on the colored label. Oh, let's try the blue label. I didn't know why I don't know why. I just go on it's like I look for a pretty color and I'm like, oh, okay, that that one looks good. I'll try that one. So anyway, so eventually I I really like the Moscato. I can drink the Moscato just on its own. So um and, and but I've steeped all the ones that I tried. I can't remember the other ones like there was like a Chardonnay I don't know. I don't know why. There was three of them that I tried anyway. So this is the one that I really like the most. Um, yeah, so those who didn't see it before. So I took the tea. I used three three perfect pot spoons. It's about a tablespoon um, in here. Uh, if I was using Berry Mania, I'd only use two. But for the other fruit teas and in wine, I really like to get a good flavor. And where I'm only steeping it about an hour. Um, I use a little bit more tea just to make sure that the flavor is there, especially if I'm doing it for people. Like anytime we have um, like birthday parties here. Oh, yes, there's drinking at the kids' birthday parties. Um, like Mother's Day, I always have, we have a crowd over for lobsters. No, nobody else can come. I don't even eat lobsters. I don't like lobsters. I don't like seafood. But everybody else comes over and has some. And I think it was Mother's Day last year. We had, we had lobsters here, so, and I think it was, and I had chicken, Tyler barbecued some chicken for me. I, I can't remember now what else we had. It's a bunch of seafood anyway, so I barbecued chicken, but he had done a piece for me for my supper, and uh, so he came in, I think he did a piece for the kids or something anyway, so when he came in and um, one of our relatives was here, and they cut up all the chicken for the kids, so I had no supper. On Mother's Day, I had no supper. Everybody else dug in, and I was like, wow. This is awesome. It was really funny. I wasn't that upset or anything. I think I had, I think I might have had scalloped potatoes or something. I had uh, something else there, but anyway, it was, it was pretty funny, but I digress. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I have this kind of wine all the time. Anytime I have a crowd over. All right. So I'm going to try this now. It smells really good. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I think this one, ooh, uh, I don't know. This this is definitely, this is really good. Oh, I have no trouble finishing this bottle tonight. Oh my God, this is really good. I think this might even be better than the Magical Mango and the Wild Tropical Punch and the Vanilla Pop. Maybe, this is really good. I highly suggest everybody order a bag of Lemonicious, 100 gram bag. And get yourself a sweet tea pitcher while you're at it. And go make some wine and tea. All right. Okay, so this wine is deadly right now. It's uh, absolutely awesome. 
So I, I don't really have anything else to talk about on this one, but I have a lot of fun doing these videos, so I'm not just going, I'm not going away yet. You're not getting rid of me that quick. I'm at least going to finish this glass of wine before I, uh, before I go. So I see there's a bunch of people on. Welcome back. Um, any questions, any comments, just, uh, send them in and I will answer away as best I can. I'm by no means a tea expert. <laughs> oh my God. I, I wouldn't even consider that, but I have been drinking tea for a while. And, um, I kind of know, hi, Courtney. Um, I know what I like. And, um, so I can let you know what I do, what I don't do, all that kind of stuff. Just, uh, ask questions. I'm just going to drink some more wine. Oh my God. That's so good. <laughs> it's really good. Holy shit. This is awesome. Jana, Cabin, the summer. It's, it'll happen. You don't even need to worry about it. I'm going to, I'm going to have to order some more bags of this stuff. I'm going to, I don't think I have any lemon issues out to the cabin, so I'm definitely going to need some. Because this is wicked. Oh my god. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even believe it. I can't even get so it. Is it like a pink lemonade? I don't know if I've ever actually had pink lemonade. But I kind of... Because it's almost... Like you get the little bit of tardiness from the wine and then you're getting a little bit of tardiness from the tea, but there's this, um, sweetness that's kind of, hang on. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm going to have to try pink lemonade, but it's good. Oh, Jana, you're on. She says, I'll buy the Moscato. You bring the tea. Not a problem. I'll bring like a half a dozen bags. We'll be set for the summer. I'll just leave it out there. This is really good. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe I've never tried this before. This is, is blowing my mind. I would say, yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a lemonade, but I think that's the tea because the tea reminds me of lemonade. It's not, it's not as tart as lemonade, but it do kind of remind me of, of, um, lemonade. It's really good. Holy oh, crap. I can't even get over it. All right, so what is, I have cold teas. I need you to give me a lesson. Not a problem, Jill. Um, I will come over and help you with your, with your fruit teas. I know, Kelly. Kelly, she says, I never would have thought to put lemon in wine. No, I never would have either. I can't believe that it's taken me this long to think, because I really do like lemon issues just in, in water. It's really good. And, uh... <laughs> oh my God, sorry. Um, it's really good. I can't believe I've never thought to put this one in wine. It, it, it is really good. I, I'm blown away. New favorite here. This may happen again tomorrow night. I've got another bottle in the fridge. I may need to go to the liquor store. All right, so I laughed because Janet said, anyone else smelling like a huge dork walking, watching this? Loving your videos, Karen. I'm loving doing them, I must say. <clears throat> it's just you, Janet. <laughs> That's what Marcia says. Dirty bitch. No, no, not really. I love her. She's my cousin. We do. She's my bestie. Marcia is my, my, my bestie. Tracy says made my night. <laughs> oh my God. This is too fun. Who knew? So yeah, anytime I'm home by myself now, I'm just going to do a live video and uh, just wait for some people to come talk to me <laughs> and I'll, I'll, I'll break the wine. <laughs> So yeah, maybe I'll just, I'll talk about how I got into tea. Oh, I miss you too, Jill. It's been way, way, way too long. We need to get, we need to do this. <laughs> Courtney says, I feel like a loser, but I don't care. <laughs> well, I'm the one who's sitting by myself drinking. So who's more loserous? Me, the one who's drinking by herself or you, the one watching her? <laughs> That's, that does sound a worse. <laughs> All right, uh, Jill, yes, we need to get together with wine. Absolutely. And tea. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't do one without the other, really. Not if I can help it. <laughs> this is what our, Janet, this is what our Friday nights have come to. And I'm only on my second Corona. We're drinking together. Cheers. This would have been more fun if I was there drinking too. Yes, Kelly. Kelly Voss. It would be. We need to do some sort of big, it would be fun if we could get like a whole load of people in different areas to go drinking together and then we all get on. I need to figure out Google Hangouts because I um you can do different um I think you can get different people in on it. So it's more than just like one way or two two people. 
and then everybody just be drinking across. It's like, oh, united across the land. <laughs> but Jill, I will be in touch because yes, we do need to um, to to get together. Um, if you put an order in, I will personally deliver your tea, and I will bring a bottle of wine and the tea to put in it. There you go. Oh, Susan Penny just joined. She's on my team. She's uh, she's one of my emerging leaders. She's not there yet, but she's getting pretty close. <laughs> oh, my God. Max five people. Yeah, but that's five streams, we'll say, right? So we could get... Oh, sorry. Kelly just said max five people, she thinks, for the Google um, Hangouts. So I'm thinking... Um, but if we can get... You know, like if I had half a dozen people here, we could set the camera up far enough away and then you know other people so we get five different locations to go it would be fun Susan um you've missed the first part of this video I'm doing I I did lemonicious in Moscato and then um I did a little post there a little while ago on my favorite things I think I talked for like 45 minutes it was retarded and not just about my favorite things although a lot of it was and then um so I did my wine first so, and I popped it in the fridge and now I'm back again and I just uh, taste it again and my mind is blown and um, it's wicked. Lemonicious in Moscato. Highly, highly recommend it. Uh, anytime anybody asks me, at least for the next two weeks, I don't know, we'll see, I'm going to recommend that they buy some Lemonicious and put it in some wine. It is wicked. So good. Is that I'm not going to have any trouble finishing this bottle tonight. I'm loving all the comments. Cody. That's Jenna's little fella. He said, who who, uh, who are you watching? He said, sounds like Karen. That's because it is me. <laughs> oh my God. This is so awesome. This is a lot of fun. Definitely uh, and out of peach i'm guessing is that georgia peach jill this is jill i'm talking to is that georgia peach or uh peaches and cream i'm not sure which one i'm thinking you had georgia peach it's been a while since you put an order in so i'm not quite sure but i'm pretty sure I, i'm thinking i had the first time i had georgia peach was at your place georgia peach i'm going to say yeah okay georgia peach it's really good and that's a rooibos too that's an anybody who's been watching these videos lately um i keep saying over <laughs> Oh, Jana. Cody's wondering what kind of videos I make. I make videos about tea, apparently. Georgia peach, yeah. Um, I think the first time I had Georgia peach was at Jill's, and that's a rooibos tea. And um, anybody who's been, like I said, I'm repeating myself now. Mm, the wine is kicking in. Um, I'm not a huge fan of rooibos. I keep saying that, but now I probably have like a half a dozen rooibos teas that I really, really like. Uh, mint chocolate chip, the Georgia peach, sleepy chai. I love sleepy chai. I got my wine tonight instead of sleep chai. Sleepy chai, I think it has chamomile. I don't know if it has chamomile in it, but it definitely helps me sleep. It's very relaxing. I like drugged myself one night on tea. I was, I forget now what I was doing. I think I was up doing um, a fundraiser or something, an online fundraiser with a crowd over in Nova Scotia, a dog rescue. And so it was something very, very similar to this. I had a bunch of prizes that I was giving away and then like the orders were just flowing in. It was awesome. Oh my God, it was so fun. And there was a lot of interaction and we were going back and forth. There was this one girl, Bridget, she must have spent $400. It was retarded. Like every time I turned around, she was throwing in another order. And um, I lost my train of thought. Get on. Mm, no idea. Oh, uh, the sleepy chai. So, and I made myself a big pot of tea. So I did the big mod pot. So it's like five cups and I did a uh, sleepy chai. And so throughout uh, this fundraiser, I was drinking it. Because it, you know, like I'd have a cup and I'm like, oh, it's very relaxing, but it never put me to sleep. And then the next thing you know, I was like, oh, I can't keep my eyes open. And I'm assuming it's from like the massive amount of sleepy chai that I chugged. Because I drank the whole pot. The whole pot was gone. And then I might have put on something else. I can't remember now. That was a while ago. It was probably this time last year. It was wicked. All right. So who else got something to say? Any other comments? Has anybody else done tea and wine? I've been a huge fan of it. I've been doing it for a while now. It's awesome. Like I said, this is really good. I can't, I can't even believe it. Mercy, this is going to be um, conference all over again. I'm going to repeat myself about 5 million times. John, I love you. There's this guy in shipping. 
um, Mercia went up to Leaders Day last year, and uh, or it was like a leaders retreat. So, and I had made group leader, but I had missed the deadline to register for the leaders retreat, so she had to go by herself. But she and they did a tour of the facility where they do all the tea, they uh, where they do all the blends and all that kind of stuff. And uh, Susan, I'll get back to you in a second. Um, and so anyway, so they ended up and they did like a little activity down in the shipping department and she ran across one of these guys. And I don't know, he probably just heard Mercia talking and said that girl's got to be from Newfoundland. And anyway, since Sir James real, they were talking and, and he like, he ended up like riddling off her dress. And like, yeah, she's like, heart, heart, John. Yes. And, um, um, it, you know, blew her away. And she was like texting me. She's like, oh my God. I just met sky shipping he totally knew my dress i couldn't believe it so that was and i was like oh my god this is so wicked right and then of course we're like oh i wish i was there so then we went to conference and john was there and um eventually i went i got the over to meet him and mercy was like this is john i was like oh he knows your address and um and she just said oh this is karen and then i think we were going into like the warehouse sale so we went in and then we came back out and he said mercia and um this sort of two and like me and Mercy are like joined at hip at these things. So we turned around and he said, uh, what did you say her last name was? And she said, Travers. And he riddled off my address and like blew my mind. I was like, Oh my God. He's like, you got, you get a lot of tea. And he's, and he handles like the, I don't know, the East coast or something like that. Anyway. So, and then of course the big gala was that night. So we were all dressed up and, um, another one of our teammates, um, had a bottle of wine there, a big bottle, like the, not like this, like the big fat one. I don't know what it is. It's like a liter and a half or something. I ended up drinking the whole freaking thing. Didn't even realize I was drinking it by myself and, um, got loaded. And then, so I see John, I was like, Oh my God, John, you're the best. You know, our dress. And I must've said it, I don't know, a million, million times. And then told him I loved him because he was awesome for remembering our dresses. Yeah. That's the fun things that happen at conference. It's lots of fun. All right, so Susan, any ideas for vanilla pop fruit tea? I did vanilla pop in Moscato last weekend, uh, and it was really good. Not as good as the lemonicious, but it was, um, but it was really good. Um, I like vanilla pop hot, believe it or not, and um, I've never tried it in Seven Up, but I've heard people say that vanilla pop in Seven Up is really, really good. What do you have in it? Mercy, I love you, John. That's me, isn't it? She's quoting me. I know it was crazy. We were up really late and I was super hung over the next day. It was crazy. I couldn't even eat my poutine. We went down to like poutinery or something like that or it's poutine or I don't, I don't even remember. I just, I just faked my way through that day, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I love conference. I can't wait to go back. <laughs> it's no Janice. She says, re I remember lots of people's addresses. Most people find it creepy, but it's not, not, no, it's, it's from a good place. It's, it, they love our, we love the tea people that remember our addresses. <laughs> I'm sure you see, you know, when you see the same address over and over, how can you not remember it? It's not like you're purposely going out remembering it. Or are you? <laughs> Jenna says she's cracking up here. I can go on and go on. <laughs> Mercy, a wow, Jenna, just wow. <laughs> oh my God. Soon time to fill this puppy up again. Oh my God. I cannot believe every, every mouthful of this wine is just like, this is better and better. It's awesome. I love it. <laughs> Marcia, I love watching the comments. This is so wicked. So Susan, did you want any other ideas for vanilla pop? I would highly suggest it in wine. It was really good in the wine. I used to mix vanilla pop, I think with uh, magical mango. It was either Magical Mango or Wild Tropical Punch. That's really good, too, mixing those two together. It was really good. But I enjoy it. a hot cup of vanilla pop. It's lovely. I, you know what? And I don't know if I've ever had it just in ice. <laughs> Mercy says, go home, Karen. You're drunk. That was at conference. It was like, it's time to go back to the room. I'm like, no, it's fine. It's not that late. It was crazy. It was a fun night. I was like, it's one of those nights that only happens once a year now, <laughs> instead of like every weekend. <laughs> and believe it or not, at one point when I was in school, man, holy shit, we used to do a lot of drinking. Oh, well, what kind of tips do you want, Courtney? 
Susan said, uh, she says, I love it steeped, steeped hot too. Haven't tried it any other way. In wine, it is really good. And I've heard it's good in 7-Up. That's the vanilla pop. But I haven't tried it uh, just on its own. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure what it would be like. Uh, yes, Jill, absolutely. Anytime. She says, better come for me. Come to me. Um, try a few different ones. Yes, uh, anytime anybody wants to come to me and try some tea, I'm open for that. We'll do like a little personal tea tasting. I've got the majority of the teas in the book. Kiwi melon fruit tea. Do we use Berry Mania in 7-Up a few months back and people love it. Berry Mania in 7-Up is my go-to. I don't do an event or a party very rarely without doing Berry Mania in 7-Up. The only reason I wouldn't do Berry Mania in 7-Up is if it's a repeat crowd like because I do have a few hosts that um, will have a party every three to six months so those ones okay sounds good Jill um, for those ones um, I might mix it up and do something different just because they've had the berry mania before so we'll try something different but if it's new people um, very many and seven up. I rarely do an event without it. Sometimes it's the only thing I serve. I won't even serve a hot uh, a hot tea because um, it's just um, it's it's just people love the berry mania, and I get so many people um, saying that. Oh no, I'll say like, oh hi, would you like to try some tea? And like, no, I'm not a tea drinker. And I'm like, well, try this one. It's like juice. And it's a bit harder. So then it turns up, and I say it's steeped in Seven Up, so it really piques their interest, and it gets people open to the idea of trying it. But like a hot green tea, they're like, no, I don't like green tea, and you can't really convince them otherwise. But with the berry mania in Seven Up. People, I think it's it's I think it's a Seven Up, and maybe that I say it's like juice, um, that they that they try it, and then you know nine chances out of ten they love it, or they at least don't hate it. So it's a, it's an always a good one. Something else I like to do at my parties too is um, is do some baking mixes. Um, the banana maple muffins are absolutely delicious, and they're gluten free. So um, the, there's it's good, you know, like. <clears throat> Oh, Catherine Adams, why can't I see you live? I don't know. Some people have some issues with it. I don't know if it's with your phone or whatever it is that you're watching. Uh, but uh, this video posts uh, to the event page after. So you can uh, <laughs> so you can watch it again. Susan just wrote back and she said, 7-Up has ruined Berry Mania for me. Can't have it any other way. I guess I don't need to be reading these comments. I'm guessing everybody can see them too, whoever's watching the video. But okay, so back to Courtney. Yes, I would always bring... Um, at least one baking mix. I like doing the the banana maple muffins. I love them. They're gluten free, so it's usually something that anybody at the party can have because there's more and more people with allergies and stuff. I always take your ingredient list with you, um, just for that reason because there's uh, you don't know what kind of allergies people are going to have, so it's always handy to have your ingredient list next to you, um, just so you can check and tell them for sure what's in each each item you have. Um, and I absolutely love to do a cheese ball or a cheese ball dip, one or the other. Like a uh, vanilla cookie ball is awesome. The caramel apple, those two have been around as long as I've been into it. And they are awesome. <laughs> yes, but it's fun to watch you read the comments. Well, yes, of course. That's Marcia. Um, yeah, so do at least a cheese ball and or like a dip. Like sometimes I do like the Fiesta dip and I do like a cup of... A cup of sour cream, a uh, brick of cream cheese, and I think it's three tablespoons of the mix. And it's like a dip and use like um, tortilla chips or something like that. Or um, what? Triscuits. Love oh, Triscuits in the dip. It's so, so good. <laughs> at least you know what you're giggling at. That's true. At least I'm not just sitting there giggling away and nobody has any, <laughs> any idea what I'm laughing at. Oh, my God. Um, let's see. What else was I going to talk about? Oh, uh, if anybody wants to join my team, I still, I have until midnight tomorrow night to get one more recruit and, um, I will be on my way to get the blue Swarovski. I can't say it's Swarovski. No, it's not really right either, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, necklace is called a blue Hawaii. Um, it's an incentive to help us get to Maui. Um, that's our next incentive trip. And, um, I need one recruit and then I need to get you 500, but that's nothing. We can worry about that later, but I need somebody to sign up before midnight tomorrow night. So if anybody was considering uh, joining CT, I would love to have you on my team and look at how much fun I, that you would have. Like this is wicked, right? 
Uh, no, but seriously, it is a lot of fun. Um, Susan, Susan's on my team. She can, she can vouch for me. Right, Susan? Right, Susan? Say yes. Please say yes. <laughs> if nothing else, it's fun to watch me get drunk sometimes, especially if you go to conference. <laughs> oh my God. So, um, yeah, so I had to get 1500 PV and with this party, I'll blow that out of the water. <clears throat> I'm, I think I'm at, uh, over 1200 right now. So I have no trouble making the PV. Um, it's just a recruit that I need. And um, we had a team meeting last week. Um, me and Marcia did this live video. That was the first live video I did. I think I've done like a half a dozen now. Oh, look, Susan. She said, absolutely. Woohoo, wicked. Uh, do it. Yes, do it. You won't regret it. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so we did um, the first live video. We kind of surprised everybody and said, um, oh, we're going to do a live video and we'll just answer um, any of your questions. No idea where I was going with that. Any have anybody have any idea? I don't know. I can't remember where I was going. Something about joining the team, I guess. Oh, I was saying about recruiting. Like sometimes, um, <laughs> anyone who's from our team, I'm on my computer now, but not my tablet. I can hear you, but I can't see you. There's a few other people who said that, that they could hear me, but they couldn't see it. Betsy, I think was on the last video and she said the same thing. She could hear me, but she couldn't see me. Might be something with the live video and the computer. I'm not sure. Melanie from Ottawa. She joined my team, um, last June, I think it was. She, um, she was watching me post about my teas and drinking teas and stuff. And I eventually intrigued her enough that I had to send her some samples to see what she had. Um, I think, I think I need more wine too, Kelly. I'll, I'll finish almost all this, then I'll have it. Um, so I sent her some samples and eventually she signed up because she wanted the discount on the tea. And that's great. And I love having her on my team. I've known Melanie for years. We started engineering together way back when. It was a long time ago now like Jesus not 20 years ago that can't be right is it oh my good god I think it is holy shit that was a long time ago that's nuts all right anyway so I've known her for years and I haven't always kept in touch she lives in Ottawa now and I'm obviously here and I've been all over the place and I'm not sure if she was always in Ottawa but anyway so T helped us reconnect in hi <laughs> uh, Milna yay um so T helped us reconnect again which has been awesome I remember the, she was putting in an order and, um, I called her to get her credit card information. And I think we spent four hours on the phone or something like that. Like it was amazing. It was so much fun. It was so good to talk to her again. Like I hadn't really had a good conversation with her since probably we were in school or it was at least shortly after that. <laughs> Tracy, yep, Mrs. It wasn't yesterday. No, it wasn't. But it wasn't 20 years. I suppose it was. It was getting close, wasn't it? When we started. Shit, what was it? Like 96, 97? 97, I think. I've known you for 31 years. So, yeah, it's been a while. My God, it was crazy. But anyway, so it was really fun talking to Melanie at night. I think it was like four hours we were on the phone. It was a long, long time. And it was good. Like, we went through a lot of stuff. Just kind of basically caught up over the last, like, 10 years. It was wicked. <laughs> we're getting up there yeah we are I turned a big 4-0 this year I'm not worried about it though I don't care I'll have I'll have my wine and tea I'll be best kind so yes yeah, so this is the kind of stuff you can look forward to if you join my team I'll be doing more of these videos because I'm having so much fun at them so I'm going to uh to just be plastering our team page which is like videos maybe I'll just get on and say hi <laughs> but this is fun I like this and it's nice to answer questions um not that I'm the big expert or anything, but you know what? When you're new to tea, I had a lot of questions in the beginning too, and I had Marcia. Marcia and me and Marcia had a lot of tea conversations, a lot, all the time. We talked a lot of tea there for a while, um, especially after conference, the first conference that we both went to that really gave the two of us a kick in the ass to build our own teams and really get up there. I mean, Marcia had a pretty good team that uh, when we first went to conference, but um, after conference, we exploded. It was it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. Yes, Melanie, it was an awesome catch up. It was really good. There are no silly questions. That's what Kelly said, and it's absolutely true. I don't think there's any silly questions. I, if if there were silly questions, I'm sure I've asked ninety percent of them. I, I don't think we're straight sometimes, especially when I'm drinking. 
And we did a baby. Yeah. I made senior group leader at one point, but now I need to struggle to get back to group leader. Make sure I'm at Leaders Day again for conference this year. It's a lot of fun as Leaders Day. You get a little um a little extra special treatment. It's it's really nice. And this year we get our own tour of the uh, facility again. Uh, Mercy has already seen it, but I haven't, so it'll be good. Is it good? Melanie, I'm guessing you're talking about conference? Um, if you are, it is good. The conference is amazing. I'm going to guess that's what you're talking about. Um, like I said, uh, me and Mercy went to the first one. And um, we started probably in about January. And um, she was like, are we going to conference or what? And I was like, I don't know. Should we go? And she's like, I don't know. You know, people say it's really good and all this kind of stuff. Oh, the wine? The wine is really good. The Lemonicious in the Moscato, highly, highly recommend it. It's wicked. Um, but yeah, so uh, back to conference. It was kind of funny how we ended up going. Eventually, we basically said, yeah, let's go. If nothing else, for a break from the kids, like a mini vacay for us. We don't even care if we go to conference. And then, um, and then we went and we were like, we were avoiding the tea people at the airport. We met, um, at, um, Lane from BC. I think she's actually moved now, but, um, she, she's very high energy and we were kind of like, oh my God, who, who, who are we getting tangled up with here? And, um, about by the end of the conference, we love Lane and we were all over her. She was like our, she was like one of our favorite people. And, um, and so we see her every year at conference again. And we, um, she was down in Jamaica with us too. So it was, it's a lot of fun. So you meet people from all over the country at conference and it's good. And like Marcia said, we're at 60 team members now between, between all of us. It's awesome. It's a lot of fun. We were too cool. We were too cool for the tea people. That's right. We were like, we're, I don't even care if we go to conference. We're not associated with these tea people. I bet we're going to be able to pick them out. And we did. It was no trouble to tell the tea people. And now we are part of the tea people that you can pick out in the airport. Um, but yeah, and we were like, oh, will we even go to session and all that kind of stuff. And then, and then we went to, then we went to some, and then it was was like wow these are actually pretty good and you get all pumped up and hyped I mean I know that's what these things are designed to do but it was it was really good it was life-changing I mean this is how we got I got to go to Jamaica because I sell tea it was awesome and with Marcia I couldn't have picked a, a better person to go with we had a lot of fun Whew! time for some more wine mm. All right, I've been at this a half hour again. Anybody bored? Should I go and finish my wine by myself? I, I kind of forgetting that I'm supposed to be doing, this is supposed to be for an event where I'm hoping to get some sales and stuff. But it's a lot of fun talking with you people, even if I'm not actually talking with you. How close am I to the next trip? Um, I am currently at just under 20,000 points and I need 30. And I have eight recruits and but I only have one qualified so and I need at least four qualified um <laughs> I love the chatting and Mercy just likes to watch me drink yes she does that all the time um but yeah so uh, I'm almost there I'm almost there points wise I'll definitely have no trouble uh when I get qualified recruits I get um 1500 points anybody that signed up in uh, August or February um uh, when they qualify meaning they get a thousand dollars in sales um, I get 3,000 points for them, so that's a big boost. And I have three people left that joined in either February or August um, that um, that if they qualify, I get 9,000 points there. So that's basically my trip. That'll be um, that'll be the four recruits. I need. And that gets me the trip with no airfare, which is fine by me because then I can book I can book a, a stopover in Toronto to visit the family up there. Like I did last time, it was it was perfect. Mercia said it's a hobby. It is a hobby. I don't do it for the money. I do it for the for the fun and the tea parties. I never thought I would love doing tea parties. It's so much fun, but it's awesome. Anything else? Tyler's home now. He's gonna come in wondering why I'm sitting up at the table drinking. For the love of tea, absolutely. And I, well, like I said, when I first joined, um, well, I didn't say this before, but 
Um, I went to Marcia's sister's tea party. I only went because my youngest was still an infant and I figured, I didn't think I'd like any of the tea. I went because I figured there'd be family members there and they'd want to see, um, see the baby. I'm on a live video. Tyler's giving me some weird looks. And, uh, anyway, so then I, um, I went in with the, with the mindset that I wasn't going to like anything. Oh, <laughs> Mercia's hobbies watching me drink. I believe that. And then, um. Anyway, so I loved all the tea. Everything that she had served, I absolutely loved it. And then it was downhill from there. Did you get your the thing fixed? No? No, you don't want me it. Did you get a plan in place? No, you don't want me it. Oh, right on. Oh. <laughs> Jenna says hi. Hmm? Jenna says hi. I'm doing, I'm doing the, <laughs> anyway, come over closer. Mercia says hi, too. Go over and say hi to the people. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's too shy. <laughs> he's waving, but he won't come over on camera. He's too shy. He's like, what the fuck? That's exactly what he's what he's at. Ooh, Eileen's there. Hi, Eileen. What? What? <laughs> because they're just commenting. It's not FaceTime, it's just a live video. <laughs> oh my. He thinks I'm nuts. But no, he's like I'm saying. He's gonna stay out of view. <laughs> Kelly. Hi Eileen. You need to go back and start watching this. I I, I did um Lemonicious in Moscato and it is wicked. It is blowing my mind. It's absolutely awesome. So I did a little video there um, earlier tonight where I went through some of my favorite things and I started with uh, steeping the wine in the sweet tea pitcher. That's what's left to the bottle. There's another glass in there. That's about it. And then so I went through and um, uh, so I went through all my favorite things. I had the wine steeping and then so I was like, and I, I think I spot, well, almost as long as I am now, it was like 45 minutes. So I said, I'm going to go and, uh, I'll come back and try the wine for everybody. So I did a little review on the wine and now we've been just been chatting ever since. <laughs> Courtney said I could totally do a channel and be so great. I think I'll just stick to the live videos for now. Look at Catherine. That's what she said. Look, I want a bag of Lady Lila at, um, Alien. Alien. I said it right. Or did I? I think I did. Um, Alias Party and just loved it. Signed up that night. I say this with a critical eye. <laughs> Thanks, Courtney. He thinks I'm nuts. It's a lot of fun. All right, any more questions? Or just um <laughs> or, or just things to talk about. So yeah, if anybody wants to join my team, I'd love to have you. Um and I don't know if I I think I, I don't know if I mentioned it in this video, but any of the orders placed on this party, uh 25% of it, that's my commission. Is I'm going to make a donation to Make a Wish Foundation in honor of Conor McGraw. I passed away this week. It's from at home, so it was um, it's just something I, I wanted to do. <laughs> Courtney, my fiance says you are watching her again. <laughs> well, that sounds critical. This is the men always think we are crazy. It's so true. They do think we're crazy. I know Tyler thinks I'm nuts. <laughs> He pretty much tells me that. Oh, Mercia always gets it right. But I do not get Alia's name. No, that's not right. Ayla? Ayla. Ayla's name right. I gotta remember because she said Kayla Ayla, right? Oh, sorry, Susan. You asked this a while ago. The Kiwi Melon Crush Fruit Tea. I don't think I have. Has anybody else tried the Kiwi Melon, melon Crush? 
<laughs> they tolerate us. Yes, something like that. <laughs> I'm addictive. I have an addictive personality, maybe. I don't know. I sure do like to drink. All right, I'm soon I'm going to have to cut this down because we're at like 40 minutes again now. Now it just seems a bit silly. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. I'm loving all the chatter. And I think I'm going to do another one tomorrow morning. Um, I'll do a hot cup of matcha. So I'll use the whisk and show everybody um, what I do when I use the whisk and make a, a hot cup of matcha. It's always fun. I'm loving doing the videos. If nothing else, just to show you people what I do to make tea. Because um, when I first started... <laughs> do you come on same time on Friday nights? Uh, maybe I will from now on. Maybe we'll see. Tune in to find out. Um, I, 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 yeah, a lot of people ask me, like, oh, how do you make your tea and whatever? Oh, lost her live feed. Oh, well, Eileen, um, you can go back. This will post to the event page, so you can go back and, and watch it uh, afterwards. It'll, uh, it'll post. Well, once I end it, it'll post up on the page. So you can go back and watch all the videos. It's after midnight. Is it really? Holy Jesus. I gotta go to bed. I think I'm home with the kids by myself tomorrow morning. That's gonna be fun. I'm just wondering, should I drink the rest of this wine? Maybe I'll let it steep all night and see how the, the glass is tomorrow. I'll probably be po uh, potent. I got the matcha bowl and whisk in the success start and haven't used it. Looking forward to it. Oh, I haven't done the breezy dry yet. I haven't even had time to look at it. I've got to go back and do the... Do the um, count up the whoever commented that um, I want a breezy and uh, so I'll do that draw tomorrow I'll I'll, I'll, uh, I'll announce the winner tomorrow night and we'll do another live video as I'll announce the winners I'll do um, I'll do the the winners for um, the fruit tea too the four bags of fruit tea I'll do them uh, I'll count it all up and do it tomorrow and announce them tomorrow night uh, near the close of the party Yes, so I'm going to close this party down tomorrow night, uh, basically because tomorrow is the end of the month, so I'm hoping to, um, to put this party toward my April PB, and because um, I'm still trying to get back to group leader status, uh, so I need um, some PB and any of my actives. It's fun. It's like a big game. I think that's why I like it so much. It's just like a big competition every month, just to see where you can go. Okay, um, the matcha bowl. You know what? I don't know if I've ever actually used the matcha bowl, but I will tomorrow morning. Um, I usually just use the tea lovers uh, teacup and use the whisk, but I do have the bowl here. Just haven't used it. But I think the bowl is supposed to be really good, just because you're supposed to do like um, like a W uh, motion when you're doing when you're using the whisk. So in the bowl where the bowl is um, wider, you can get a really good. You should be able to get a good froth on it. So we'll see what I do tomorrow morning. Should be fun whisking up the matcha all right i'm gonna go to 45 minutes and then that's it cutting it off so you got two minutes left if anybody wants to make any comments two minutes this has been a lot of fun tonight i think i was supposed to do more tax stuff tonight <laughs> steep tea stuff actually because i don't have all my receipts and everything put in to finish our taxes maybe i'll do that tomorrow night Maybe I won't. Maybe it'll be Sunday night. It'll be one of these late nights when I finally get at it. After midnight. I can't even believe that. Where did this night go? This is nuts. All right. So um, we're down to almost just a minute left before I say good night for the night. Um, yeah, so lemonicious in Moscato. Deadly. Definitely try it. Um... Put your orders in before um, tomorrow night, uh, ideally before 9 o'clock Newfoundland time tomorrow night. Um, or just let me know. Uh, but the order is going in before midnight tomorrow night Newfoundland time. Um, so get your orders in. Lots of prizes will be given away if I get the sales. Um, the um, I'll do the prize draws for everything else too. Anybody who puts an order in on this, on this um, party, um, I'll be doing a draw for the matcha bowl and whisk 200 gram uh no the matcha bundle uh the spoon and i think the matcha shaker i'm not sure i'll have to go back and check and i don't know if i'll do that one tomorrow night or I'll wait till after i close it out just to make sure i have everybody's um orders in there and i think there's another draw too oh uh, maybe fruity 
I don't know. I can't remember. I'll have to go back and check the event. But, um, so, um, but anyway, get your orders in. And if anybody's considering joining my team, if you have any questions, get in touch. I would love to have you before midnight tomorrow night. And, um, and if anybody wants to book a party or come over to do a tea tasting, I'm available various times. Just get in touch and we'll figure out a date. All right, Susan's gone to bed. I think she's probably already gone. Uh, good night. And I am gone now too. That's 45 minutes. All right, this has been a blast. I've had a lot of fun and I will definitely do this again. All right, night-night.